Hello, everybody. I'm Mark Tewksbury, your host of this program. Our goal is to reveal the methods and materials that turn out the everyday products we see around us, from toothpicks to computers to airplanes. If you think you know something about these items, you might be in for a surprise. There's a whole world of things to discover here on how it's made. We can now grow molecules by gene implantation in plants and animals. Take the goat. Within its body, we can grow very strong fiber molecules used to save lives. We're not talking medication, though. With fiber-producing goats, we can make, of all things, bulletproof vests. In this program, toothpicks, acrylic bathtubs, helicopters, and beer. Some people use them to build models of the Eiffel Tower, others to hold hors d'oeuvres together, and some people use them to pick their teeth. What are we talking about? The toothpick. Logs. Lots of birch logs are delivered to this factory. They're the raw material with which toothpicks will be made. The heavy logs are lifted by grippers and placed into a debarker. Bark isn't part of the fabrication process and is recovered by this machine. However, the bark isn't thrown away. It's sold to a neighboring factory where it will be used as fuel. The debarker works in two steps. With two passes, it produces a log roll that's perfectly cylindrical and easier to mill. This particular log of wood is being transported to the next processing stage. This unraveling machine unravels the log as if it were a roll of paper, cutting it with 12 fine blades, each 1.06 millimeters thick and 6.3 centimeters wide. These same blades will be used later to cut toothpicks. Then these 12 blades, positioned side by side on the unraveling machine, will form rolls of strips called billets. These tiny cutters are used to trim the ends of the toothpicks. Knives placed here and there on the machine thin the ends of the toothpicks. The roller rolls out the cut strips, forming a billet. Completed strips, or billets, are taken out manually. Each billet weighs 1.8 kilos. The billets are carried to the puncher. The flat toothpick puncher cuts the billet strips into small, equal-sized pieces. The cut pieces come out at this end of the machine. The punch works very rapidly. Knives come down 2,000 times per minute to cut a total of 8,000 toothpicks in just 60 seconds. Cut toothpicks fall into this chute, then into a container. At this stage, they're soft. They have to be hardened in a dryer during four hours at 121 degrees centigrade. Then the toothpicks are transferred to the polisher Talcum powder and friction help make the toothpicks perfectly smooth. This operation takes four hours. Toothpicks exit the polisher and pass through this sifter, which filters out broken ones. Those in good condition continue onto an air blower system. Damaged ones are rejected. Perfect toothpicks are placed onto two conveyors by an air blowing system. Drums at the end of the conveyors assure quantity distribution, then they're carried toward the automatic packagers. This machine counts the toothpicks. Boxes are made up, ready for filling. 
The number of toothpicks included in each box counts. The packager is calibrated to place 650 toothpicks per container, and it produces about 1,150 boxes an hour. It thus handles 747,500 toothpicks every hour. Some toothpicks are individually wrapped for distribution to restaurants and airlines. This machine wraps 1,200 toothpicks per minute. It automatically wraps, glues, and cuts the paper. This facility can manufacture the astronomical number of 20,217,600 toothpicks every day. And all this starting from a few birch logs.